Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sylvia and I make videos on planning with occasional review. Today's video is going to be a review. So it is the next day. Uh, my camera is just not, <laughs> it was not happy yesterday. So um, I already opened this, but I put it back in the bag <laughs> just for the effect of the un unveiling since I didn't capture um, that on camera. I don't know. I think that my camera is okay today. So <laughs> we'll see. Here we go. Are you ready? Pulling off the band-aid. So this is not the first time I'm seeing it, but it's certainly the first time you're seeing it, at least um, my folio. Is it not beautiful? Uh, my reaction was very excited, by the way. <laughs> it smells just like new shoes, which I love. This is a gorgeous leather. So this is an A5 Slim folio, and it is the Eben leather times three. So same situation as the Spec Brown. So you have the actual folio um, cover in the Eben leather, and then the pocket, the, um, what do they call this? The scoop pocket <laughs> in Eben, and then of course the inside pockets in the Eben. Now is it Eben or Eben? I'm just, you know, whatever, you know, let me know down below, but I'm gonna say Eben just to be consistently right or wrong. Um, I did get a closure for this one as well. I talked about that in the last video. So if you didn't see that list last video, I suggest you check it out. Um, so this is my second folio that came in this order. And once again, I had to do it separately because my camera was not happy. Um, this is a gorgeous leather and I was, I was thinking about it last night as I was looking at it. And honestly, as someone who, lives on a reservation coming from <laughs> this is just so beautiful it reminds me of moccasins it's a very soft like that just beautiful any kind of leather that they would make if not moccasins like a, a medicine pouch or like a coin purse it is just so thin and lovely i mean look at that we'll just see if this camera will <laughs> Will work with me today. It is exceptionally thin and I just think of little baby moccasins in this leather. It's just so so sweet. Um, yeah I just have all the fills for this and exceptionally thin even when you can see here this is doubled up leather from the pocket on the inside and then of course um, in this section here we have triple the leather so we have the pocket in the front the actual folio cover and then the inside pocket and it's still fairly thin and again we have those um, somewhat unfinished edges which I don't mind I love the way they look just beautiful and then we have one two three of these card slots on either side, whereas in the B6 Slim, because it is shorter, um, only had two. So this is just, I really wish I would have gotten one in A5 as well, which might be my next move. <laughs> so let's talk about the color of this leather. So I bought both of these folios before I saw the actual <laughs> video talking about this leather. I first went to YouTube and I don't know why I don't think about Instagram, but honestly you guys, I just, I don't think about Instagram as a place um, of research for things like this. But now um, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. So um, I had told a friend, I was like, oh my gosh, I just got two new Sojourners and I bought one of the new leathers and I'm excited because it looked um, gray on camera and it's not coming across gray now. I don't think of it as gray as all. I would say that this is more of kind of a cream color, just a very slightly cream color. So it's not um, white if it's coming off kind of white and it's not gray, but the undertones, the like brown undertones, um, they kind of change the color a little bit, if that makes sense. So it makes it almost like a, a creamish color or a very, very light beige. I am terrible with colors, I apologize. Anyway, so I told a friend, I was like, I really wish I could have seen a video on this leather. And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, there is one. <laughs> uh, and she was talking about Rowena, uh, the creator of Sojourner, there's her R right there. And she mentioned that she had uh, posted a video, like almost a 30 minute or maybe around a 30 minute video on Instagram talking about these new leathers. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I went over to Instagram and um, she was really talking about 
uh, the actual names and how all of her her names are always biblical, which I knew. Um, it's very clear to find on her website uh, that she tries to name them all after characters in the Bible or animals that are found in the Bible. And so she talked in detail about the names, which people can definitely appreciate and I try to appreciate as a writer because I understand that if you name a character Hope, um, that's probably going to play into your story somehow, right? And so she was talking about the Eben leather and talking about how um, it means stone, I believe. I was trying really hard to listen, but there was a lot of religious stuff going on in there that I didn't necessarily think needed to be in there, you know? That's, you know, yellow. Um, so I was just like, wait, what's happening right now? Um, but yeah, it definitely, especially in this corner, it looks like a stone. So sometimes if you pick up like a white or a cream kind of colored stone and you look at it up close like this, you will see those undertones or the marbling of other colors within. So I totally agree with the name of this and I think it's gorgeous. And you can see the difference here of the pebbling that's on um, this little scoop pocket as opposed to the more smoother leather that the actual folio is made out of here which is great and of course you're always gonna get variations and different hides, but it is just super thin and you can just scrunch this up and it's just so beautiful. I love it. I think this cover more than my other one matches the stitching, I mean, pretty much perfectly. I don't think you can get a better match than that. So the stitching is fantastic. No issues there and of course the pocket as well is like slightly unfinished too. I kind of like that look um, when it comes to this folio. It's just really, really beautiful. Yeah, so I definitely would call this a little bit more creamed uh, color. This isn't as soft and fuzzy wuzzy like baby hair um, like it is in the uh, speck brown, but it's still very smooth and lovely. I did get a closure and I mentioned in my last video that the closures are $10 more and that information was also in the video which I was trying to find out um, because I, I thought I had heard that before from someone else but I wasn't really sure and I was pretty sure that I didn't order it properly so in case you can't find the closure um, as well like I don't know if it's a I still don't know if it's a Dropbox <laughs> If there's a place you're supposed to add it, I, I don't know. Because um, like I mentioned, I, I ordered this before I heard that. But when Rowena was saying in between reading from the Bible that um, this closure was $10 more and that um, there was a situation, I, I still don't know where it is. Anyway, the point is I wrote in the comments um, that I would like a closure. And I wrote that for both of my folios. Uh, kind of hoping that, you know, if I missed it or they couldn't charge me separately that they would email me, which they did. And that, of course, was all cleared up pretty quickly. Um, I just had to pay through PayPal $20 because each of the closures were $10 each. So um, it was pretty simple and it was totally my mistake. I just, you know, as soon as I heard her in that video say, oh yeah, and you pay for them separately and it will be $10 more, I was like, yeah, I totally ordered that wrong. But this is gorgeous, gorgeous leather, and it's so smooth and lovely. I just, it does, it reminds me absolutely of moccasins. So I'm loving this leather. I'm very excited about it. Again, this is the A5 Slim. And these are the new leathers. Um, I tried to find a video on YouTube for this, and maybe I was searching the wrong things, but nothing popped up. And I'm, I know that I can't possibly be the first person to make a video about it, right? I mean, I usually am not. Um, and I was trying really hard on Instagram to find some pictures and I was like, am I not searching the right thing? So hopefully we will have plenty of pictures of mine and this video for a reference. Note that um, the reason why I really wanted to find a video is because there's only one picture of this on the actual website and it's just like a folio here another one here, they're kind of layered. And I think the layered effect is nice to show the differences in the textures that are going to happen with this leather. Again, you can see my pocket is quite pebbled as opposed to the more smoother part here, which I don't mind at all. Um, but for those people who are interested, I feel like if you blow up that picture, you can definitely see that um, there is a texture variety. Um, but I, I still, I think in that picture and even in the video, it looked great. <laughs> she also had another video where she's just like, flopping all these leathers on um on stone just like a quick like little uh what's it called like a story video um 
And again, it looked great in that light. And I, I mean, I don't mind the color. I still think the color is beautiful, but just to clarify, it's more of a cream color. And again, I was trying to, to focus on the words in the video and I can't remember if she said it was more of a cream color, um, but it's just kind of like a light, kind of almost white, but cream colored stone looking situation. I'm terrible about explaining colors. I'm awful. So I'm hoping this video, I turned off my lighting. So this would be more true to color, which I think it is coming off true to color. I won't really know until I edit a little bit more because I'm looking at my little viewfinder up there. Um, I did go with a red closure because I like that pop of color. And I have mentioned in my other video that um, although there are several new colors, I think there's four, several, is that several? Is that considered several? <laughs> there's four new colors for April. Um, I thought about putting a red pocket on here for a pop of color, but I get matchy matchy on the inside. So I didn't want to do that. I just like the, the times three where you get um, all three uh, situations, the actual folio, the pocket, and the inside in the same color. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I've rambled on now. At this point, I feel like everyone has a good idea about how thin this leather is, as well as um, the color. Again, I would not consider this gray, although the pictures make it look slightly so. It's a great neutral color. Um, this will allow you to use it in summertime and wintertime. You can use a folio anytime, but I tend to feel like black is a little bit darker um, and I want something a little bit lighter for summer. You also let me know down below. And again, that video I will link down below. It was, I think, essentially meant not to alienate people, but to, um, especially those who are not religious or felt like they were getting preached to. Uh, we had a conversation about it actually, um, on Instagram amongst a lot of planner people. And then I talked to a couple of people individually that thought it was a little, it was a little odd. Um, but again, as a writer, I can appreciate wanting to know where the actual name comes from and the meaning of the name. I just didn't feel like the other stuff in between these needed to be there. So if there's a place that we could all go and get that information without the, you know, Saturday sermon, I would really appreciate that. All right. So that is everything. This is gorgeous. I hope that I get to order in a five size one <laughs> right now. I am maxed out with buying stuff right now, but it's going to go on my wish list for sure. I am so excited. I got another beautiful one. Very happy. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope that this was helpful. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.